Hey everybody, hope your afternoon's going really well. It is a great day here. The uh, temperature's about, I think it's like 78 degrees. And let me just show you, there's not a breeze, nor is there a cloud in the sky. I had a thought today, and I'm trying to get this done before anybody else finds out. So the only people that know about it right now are you and me. And I'm gonna to try to get this done before the kids come back over. But yesterday I walked down the path to the farm and it is pretty grown over. We do have a little bit of walking path. My concern is for snakes and things and ticks. And as Chad brings the kids down there, um, I, I, just, I just don't feel right about it. So let me take you down here and let me show you what I'm talking about. And let me just, I'm gonna bounce it off of you here, but I think this is gonna work. Let me show you here and turn the camera around. You've seen this path a jillion times, but see, it's very narrow. What is that, about 18 inches? Man, and that, see how that grown up on the side? That's just a, there could be poison ivy in there. And, and, and Chad has told you before, he is really allergic to poison ivy. He can get it if the wind blows, man. If he gets it, he's miserable. And then, and to boot, look at here, see them big rocks? I've been dying to get those things out. And I have choices are to bring a metal bar over here and dig them all out. Or, and here's my idea, I thought about if I could get the tractor down here, if it was wide enough, I'd back that tractor up with the box blade on it, come all the way here to the gate. Now see, it's not terrible right here. I probably wouldn't have to use a box blade here. But I could... go this way. There's a big, big root right here. And one of these days I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut that thing off right there. I don't know. It may, it may kill that tree, but you know what? I'll just cut the tree down if it does. But that's a, that's an accident waiting to happen too. But starting right here, I think I could drop my box blade and I could take it down and scrape some of these rocks up. Move that big rock right there. And then come all the way down. Smash this down a little bit on either side with the, you know, I don't, what I don't want to do is take off two or three inches of ground. I don't, that's not my intention. It's just clear this vegetation away. And then after that, what I would do, if you can see it down here, I have some leftover base rock. And I'm thinking I'm going to take this base rock that I have. I think it'd be enough. And I just lay about a little bit of a, a uh, maybe a 14, 15 inch wide path and just base rock that thing all the way down to the gate. What do you think? Good idea? Is it necessary? I mean, I could take the weed eater, weed eater and, and do all of that and, and, and clear all that off. You ever had one of those ideas you just, you just got to do? You just got to do? That's one of these, this is one of those ideas. I'm gonna try it. If I can't, if the tractor doesn't work with this box blade, I'll just do it by hand and, and dig those rocks up with the with the bar. But this box blade, I don't see if I can let it do the work. You know, if you're not familiar with a with a box blade, and this is not a how-to with a box blade, but you know, it's got these uh, heavy metal blades right here. It's got one on the other side. Over here, you just drag it along the ground, it flips stuff up, it'll level base rock. You know, and, and, and you can also do this because it comes with, when you get it, it's got these hooks right here, see? Uh, you don't call them hooks. I call them diggers or what do you want to call them, tines. And you can drop these below the surf, the bottom of the box blade and you can tear things up. But my intention is not to tear things up. I don't want to make a, you know, I, I could probably take those rocks and get them up, but with that a little easier. But it comes with four of those. But I'm not going to be digging down. So I'll uh, set the camera up. And give this a shot. I think it'd be a great idea and it'd be a really nice surprise if the kids showed up and had a nice little base rock path to follow down there. So let's see what happens.
that worked out really well. Let me show you what what I got to do, what I accomplished. I got one big rock already out. That one's loose. Look at here. Now this is what a box plate will do. That big rock right there. That thing is huge. That's one big rock. And I didn't have to dig it out. And I'll fill that hole in with dirt or base rock. But that's what that box plate does. I got a couple more to dig out, but that thing's working working beautiful. I got another little one to get right there. So this is, I'm really pleased. This one I tore up already. That'll come out. I got to get a couple there. So, so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and remove these by hand. And I won't bore you with doing that. Because right now, none of the animals, even though I'm here, I hear the beefy boys bellering just a little bit, but I don't see anybody else coming down, so they're all having their siesta. So I'm going to roll these rocks out of the way, finish doing this, and then we'll, we'll uh, come back with some base rock and see what I can get done. Y'all had a great idea. So from now on, whenever I do all this stuff, you're coming with me. Okay, just to show you kind of what I've been doing, what I'm dealing with here, I've got a few rocks that I'm going to dig out by hand right over here by the tractor. So let's see if we can get those out. Some of those up here a little bit earlier, I could not move by hand. We may have to leave them in there. They're really big. We'll, we may have to figure something out later on, but I'm going to keep moving, keep making progress, get the majority of it done, kind of have it as a surprise for the kids and grandma. I have to get up. They're not real big. Let's see if they're all separate. I got an audience over there. I got the Smoky. Smokey's over there and Robin. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big rock. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. Sometimes it's just a challenge. It's just a challenge of getting it done and feeling like you've accomplished something, right? Because I'm going to win. And I did. Whee! There we go. There's one. Let's put that right there. All right. One more. Now you know why when we do our T-post, what we're talking about when we say it's rocky. Some of y'all living, living out there on that good green pasture land. Woo. I trade you right now. There's a big one. That may not come up. Oh goodness. All right. Let's think about that one. All right, I'm gonna continue taking some of these little ones out and then uh, we'll uh, start, on the, start on the base rock here in a little bit. So far, y'all doing a great job. You've been a big help. All righty. So we got a couple of rocks out there. Woo! Some of those are monstrous. I even got some more on the other side, but now what we're going to do, because we got some holes, and we might break their ankles. Let's go, let's go get some base rock and uh, fill some of this in. Chad and I, in case you haven't seen it, did a uh, tractor video on my, my uh, BX1880 Kubota. And I don't care what color tractor you got. It's green, red, orange, yellow, purple. Um, that video was about not about the Kubota tractor, even though I do like Kubota, it's a nice tractor, don't get me wrong. It was just about what you need to get the job done. And today, some of these rocks are pretty darn stubborn. And I didn't max this thing out to the full power. I'm, I'm pretty easy on my equipment. I'm, I don't push it, I want it to last a long time. If I'd have had a 30, 40 horsepower tractor, would it have taken these rocks out? Absolutely. Then you know what? I'm done with this project. I don't need 30, 40 horses anymore. I need the 18, or I think it's like, actually it's like 
I don't know how they do horsepower. When I went in, the guy says 18 horsepower. That's all I know. So I call it an 18. They call the 23 a 23, but it's actually like 21 or something. That's insignificant, not important to me. Gary and Cassie Walker commented on that tractor video. They had a quote, I think maybe from somebody else or they did, whoever gets credit for it. Don't out tractor your land. Great quote. So anyhow, for some of you looking out there and going, hey man, what? just get a bigger tractor, you hold that little tractor won't handle it. Hey, it's doing everything I want it to do. I don't have uh, the extra money in it for a big tractor that I'm not going to use, so I'm, I'm good. All right, let's go get some base rock. But I'm going to go ahead, instead of uh, wasting this base rock, because I don't have a lot, lot, I'm going to go ahead and run this base rock down there and start. I'm going to, I'm going to get my weed eater first, do some weed eating. Then I will uh, take the base rock down there, but I'm going to go get, I got plenty of dirt, and I'll put dirt in these holes instead of using, uh, instead of using the base rock. All right, that's pretty good. I got a weed eater down. Pretty much of an, a wider path. Now I'm going to take this base rock, start back this way. We like a little garden path, kind of cool all the way down to the animals. May end up having to get more base rock at some point, but we'll just spread a thin layer, see how it looks. Now it could be that a month from now you won't even see that. Get the grass grows up through it, but what I'll do uh being that we've all we've done so much work on it i'll get some uh spray and i'll just keep it keep it sprayed see if i can't keep the weeds down but it'll be cool for a little while we'll see how it goes i'm not going to make it real thick kind of throw it out there like this what do you think it's worth it oh look I just want to stop a second. Show you who joined us. Yeah, show you who joined us. That's Moki. Hi, Sugar. Hi, Sugar. Guess who just showed up home from work? Grandma Leanne. She will no doubt walk over here when she gets done. So she's gonna get the first preview. Okay, so now I think this, this will be our last load of base rock. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and weed eat this last little bit. So we don't have, I don't wanna cover the grown up uh, vegetation and weeds with base rock. And waste it. So we're going to cut this, and then we'll uh, put some base rock down. And we'll be done. So far, Grandma hadn't come back out yet. So maybe we can finish before she comes out of the house. But I did find something today that I got to make Chad aware of and everybody. And I'm pretty darn sure. Let me show you something. See that? I believe, boys and girls, that is poison ivy. If I'm not mistaken. You can let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's right there along the path, so I'll just cut that down. We'll know whether or not I got into it here in a couple of days. I think there's some more right there. Isn't that poison ivy? Y'all let me know, but I think it's three leaves. Or is it a uh, poison oak has five leaves? I think that's it. Old man, old man. Well, I'll cut her all out. Do the best I can. Get it away from the path. Y'all are doing a great job. Case and Adler and Chad, they're going to be really proud of you. All 
Okay, everybody, this is the big reveal. We're going to show Grandma what we did today. Okay, Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, we worked really hard. Did we? Yep. First thing she asked was, was she going to get any ticks? And I said, no, nah, we, we took care of that. Snakes. Snakes? Didn't take care of that, but they'll be a lot more visible. That makes me feel better. Yeah, so watch. See there? Look. Take a walk down the path. I'll follow you. How about you go first and I'll follow you? Well, can you see anything different already? Well, yeah. It looks great. It's a base rock. Look at that. All the way down? You put it all the way down the path? Well, cool. you're going to find out. See, I don't think snakes will crawl across this because it'll cut their bellies. That's oh, what yeah. I'm going with anyway. Cut their bellies. Yeah, what we did or wow. first, yeah, I, I came and I took out some big rocks. I brought the tractor all the way down. I couldn't get some of them out, these roots, right here. Wow. Cut that out. I but didn't realize over there. I figure if Adler and Case and Chad all come down here, you know, it was really growing up. Yeah, it and is. And kind of becoming a problem. This is probably as far as I'll ever go now until it's mowed. <laughs> it's not going to get mowed. Well, it ain't going to get, get a dozen goats. It ain't going to get mowed. Because that is tall. I know. Wow. But anyway. That's, That's awesome. what we did. I think it's pretty cool. It is cool. And I can keep it keep it weed eated. And then Smokey yeah. came down and helped. I only saw one goat. I may see one through there. Do you? I may come down here in a little bit. Not pretty though. It's very pretty. It's a nice little walk now. Yep. Nice little walk. I, not as smooth as I wanted, but it's not too bad. Not bad. I just heard Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, I know. Okay, there's the 10 cent tour. I think we did really good. And I think Chad and Case and Adler are really going to like it. So You say we like I did part of it. Uh, we? I meant we is in out here. Oh, I was going to say. Yeah, I knew <laughs> have... me didn't do anything. Okay, yeah, so. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, it's it, it turned out really well. So it was just one of those last minute deals. And I thought, you know, we'll come home and knock that out. And it worked out great. Okay, All that's right. it for now. What do I say? Until next time. Until next time. See ya. See ya.